would say. At uh, AMD AA Quad Core, one of the dedicated, uh, what was it, 7680, one gig video card in it. And yeah, needless to say, I started having overheating problems with it. So I sent it in. They send the damn thing back to me. Tell me they can't repair it because they're signed to look damage. Now, nothing had ever been spilled on this laptop. I, I look at the pictures they send back and then I open it up and look at exactly SSDs what they put the red arrows at. Wow. And not a damn bit of water damage. It was games. freaking. Uh, Two, three terabytes in the video for storage. Heat distortion pictures on the stuff. plastic. Jesus, you paid out the line butt the for this. And from where the system is getting hot That's and it's causing discoloration in the damn plastic. No, and they two, turn around and say it was liquid damage. I'm sorry. How the hell are you going to cause... 10 terabytes? Uh, how are you going to figure distortion from heat is liquid damage? Now and, why? And then I came to find out Ace was actually owned by Gateway. You said Acer is owned by Gateway. Yup. Gateway is not even owned by Gateway anymore. HP owns them now, right? Yeah, HP, I think. They bought Compaq, they bought Gateway. Gateway still their own independent company. They, Gateway actually bought out Alienware. No, no Dell bought Alienware. Alienware. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Gateway bought out Acer and one other freaking. Hard, basically unknown company. I can't remember the name of it, but they're still their own independent company. Wow, but that it's still pretty good. I don't know. I might do that this fall with some of my money. I might actually do that shit. as well. You know, buy some and flip them. Hey, plants. That's actually a pretty awesome idea that our Gargus threw in there because he said he bought all of his uh, SSDs and hard drives on sale. He bought them all. He bought ten at once and then flipped six of them. That's actually not a bad idea. Was it? He bought uh, SSDs and hard drives. Uh, basically, he bought 10 SSDs uh, that are usually 450 a piece when they're on sale at 200 a piece, and flipped six of them when they went off sale. Basically, yeah, that's fine to do that. But you and 15 other people, are, or 1,500 other people, are probably doing the same thing. <laughs> so the market price on those things drops. The second that a retailer offers a sale like that, the resale value of all that equipment never goes back to the original retail value because you get a lot of people who do that. They think they'll, oh, I'll be able to double my money. Well, no. You'll make some money off of it, but you're not doubling your money. No, um, you're getting like you maybe 1.5. From a third party, not from a trusted retailer, they're not going to pay full retail for it. So, yeah, he probably, for the six he sold, he maybe made 100 bucks off of each one of them, but... It's kind of a, in, in my way, it's a piecemeal way to make money. I used to sell computer parts and, and pre-assembled and reassembled shit and stuff like that. The market's just not there for it anymore. It's too easy for people to go out and find those deals. See, there's this thing called the internet where, you know, yeah. you put in a Google search of an item Bearded that you're looking Smith. for, you'll find Welcome the most price for it right away. And if you're willing to do it through a non-approved vendor, you can save yourself a little bit of cash. But like, I wouldn't buy that because if I have a problem with the SSD, I can't send it back to them and return it. If I get it and it's damaged, what's my recourse? You know, I can give them a bad review on eBay or something. It's like, eh. Yeah, it's but like, as yeah. a consumer, a lot of people are wary of those situations. So, not it's not the best way in the world to make some cash. But it's a way for you, I guess, to get some free equipment. Because you can pay off yours by selling it out to other people. Yeah. Yeah, and I wouldn't. I actually probably wouldn't mind doing that when I have a little bit of money. Uh, come this when I go back to school, because then I can save. I can. Risk, which you be worried about. You could be stuck sitting on all those SSDs that you can't sell because. No, that's the know. thing. I'll buy a couple of them and then I'll do the sales. Yeah. See, the problem is, is there has to be. You can try to sell something. That's great. But there has to be a buyer out there for it to actually work. And if somebody's shopping for an SSD, there's a good chance they just found that deal, and you're gonna have to sit on them for a little while for the prices to jump back up. But once retail puts a price that low on something, more than likely, it's closeout. 
Yeah. The new model coming out. The, the latest and greatest is coming out. And the longer you sit on technology, the the less it's worth. You gotta turn them around quick. Because value on technology drops pretty quick. You know, they say what? Processing speed is doubling every eighteen months or something. So every know, how many months? Eighteen months. Oh, the yeah. processor speed is doubling. There's that law. It's a computer engineering law, they say, or something, or a theory. Yeah, I I know what the theory is, and I I know what that I know what that's all about. It's uh, it's like the theory of constant uh, something or other, basically no, regardless. It's, it's like Zern's law or something. I don't know if it's popping out of my art game to find it, but. On. Basically, the idea is that computers are always going to be built faster and faster and faster. Like, everything is going to be faster and better, regardless. Yeah, There's no... Moore's Law, that's it. It's called Moore's Law. Yeah, that's it. I didn't say I got them from a, a retail. A lot of computers <laughs> are talking about things like quantum computing and stuff like that, that things are going to get more powerful and smaller, and our computers are going to become more portable. But even now, in the age of tablets and stuff like that, where everyone's saying, "Oh, you know, you, you know, no one wants to buy, uh, no one's interested in buying desktops anymore," and they're wrong because the processing oh. power and the gaming power you can get out of a desktop is significantly stronger than what you can get out of a laptop. Heat dispersion is an issue with gaming laptops and stuff like that. I don't think the desktop will ever die. It may move into more of a server thing where it sits in your basement and all you have is your monitor at your desk, but your actual box is down in the basement as part of a larger server for your whole house. <laughs> you know, like the smart home systems, um, the old X10 systems they used to call them, where you can have yeah, all your shit controlled through a central server in your house. Yeah, kind of like how like a lot of universities and shit do with the dumb terminals where you got your screen, you got your keyboard, you got your mouse, and all it does is just straight hooks to the server, and then the server pushes everything out over freaking, um, basically over uh, streaming IP services. You gotta call them remote sessions. <clears throat> That. You have a remote session on the server, and you've got a dumb node on the other end of it, which is usually there's still a box there sometimes now. Every, just a box for everything to basically plug into, because you got to plug your keyboard into something, you got to plug your mouse into something, you got to plug your monitor into something. Sweet. But have a small dumb box there. It doesn't really have processing power. It doesn't really have storage capabilities. It has a little bit of RAM on it, but you're running everything remotely off of the server. We have a couple of those in the house that I use for entertainment. Uh, in the kitchen, I have a little one set up that my wife can go in there and pull up a movie or a TV shows while she's making dinner. And it's all touchscreen. The one got one of the touchscreen monitors, so she doesn't have the keyboard and the mouse. You can walk up to it, and um, the box, the dumb box, is hidden in the cabinet. She can just walk up to it, and she can press. Yeah, I know, right, on the Screen a couple of times, and she can have a movie up. And so while she's baking, she can watch a movie. Um, you know, you'll see more and more of those, I think, moving into houses as we have so many computers floating around the houses. You know, I have five laptops and two desktops in this house. Um, I could very easily just put all that processing power, put all my money in the server itself, turn everything else into dumb boxes. It would probably save me a little bit of money. I just, you know, haven't gotten to that point yet. But I could easily see it in the next couple of years that you know, the idea of a desktop or even a laptop would disappear and you'll be working wirelessly through a tablet, basically. That's what I'm doing. Right, That's I mean, why I'm doing these auto battles, bro. Pretty much do that. I mean, yeah, they're done more on a gaming side, but with the uh, original NVIDIA Shield and the new NVIDIA Shield K1 uh, Android tablets, They've already got them set up where if you have an NVIDIA card in your machine, you can stream your games straight from your PC to the freaking tablet and sit right there on the tablet and play them. Yeah, but the streaming is really shitty. I tried it. <laughs> it's really... Um... It's really choppy. It's bad frames. If you're playing like Facebook games or like little puzzle games, it's not bad. But there's no way you'd be able to pull arc on something like that. 
Well, maybe not mm. Arkham, but I mean, I've actually done it with like Batman Arkham City, Arkham Asylum. Uh, it, is po it is possible, but the main limiting factor with it right now is network speeds. No, I mean, it's, it's even using a tablet's going away. You're gonna see VR become you don't know how the next to cast big thing. Magic on every you know, you're gonna you're gonna have a VR that has a small. You do know how to cast like magic on everyone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. All the data transfer. Not a problem, Super J Dog. Virtual reality device. Oh, that's and then what Microsoft's trying to do with the Microsoft Hololens. Well, they're, they is it Google that came out with one that's like a. It turns your phone into a, a basically like an Oculus Rift, a VR yeah, reality yeah, using little lenses and cardboard. It costs like two bucks, and you can slap your phone on it, and it turns your phone into a virtual reality device. Oh, the augmented reality devices. Yeah, it's but it, this one's like two bucks. It's card, you know, it's cardboard and a set of plastic lenses on there that actually cause the the three dimensional view. You slide your phone in the front of it. And there's an app that you use to be able to convert everything over, and it turns itself because you know phones have the uh, orientation. What about buying from British? Um, built into them, so like when you're moving it around and stuff like that, it knows how you're moving the phone. You slap that in the front, and they have an app now, and you can just run right through it and turn it into a virtual reality. Now, yeah, it's Switch limited on what it can do, but if we're doing that now, 18 months from now, just imagine what it can do, or three years from now, what it can do. Um, you know, it's. It's sad to be old right now because you kind of want to see what can happen 50 years from now when it comes to video gaming and computer devices. I'll be long dead by then, more than likely, but um, it'd still be cool to see what what would change. Yeah, before you die, they'll have it where you'll be able to upload your consciousness into, your freaking, into a freaking computer system anyway. Oh, I'd be afraid I'd get hacked. I wouldn't want to do that. I don't even want to be buried because I'm afraid someone's going to try to resurrect me. I'm gonna have a Viking funeral. I always said I wanted to go out and ball a fire. That'd be cool. I right, screw it. Just go geek mode. Screw the Viking deal and just do a straight on Jedi fucking funeral. Pretty much the same damn thing. Just give you a little <laughs> bit more geek cred. Oh my god. Uh, huh. No, my, I've already told my wife what she should do is put me on an inflatable raft, sure. cover me in gasoline, push me out in the Lake Michigan, oh, and light me on fine. fire. It's like with the Microsoft uh, and the other race. I'm like, oh, it's an augmented reality headset. It's more than a headset. It is a full-on self-contained computer system. It does not have to be Bluetooth or wirelessly tethered to another system in order to operate, unlike Oculus Rift and some of these whoa. other deals, you know, and that's one of the big things I think Scott, a lot of Scott DJ twenty three, what's up? The hollow lens is a fact. British, like what's said, up? It's an actual straight on self contained system. Uh, and I've been I've been following it, following it for a while. And where they're going with it. Um shit. It's not gonna be too far off because I mean people have already been able to do it with hack drivers for the Microsoft Xbox Connect to where they've actually been able to set up their computers with full gesture control using the Xbox Connect and sit there and manipulate and run their computers like some shit out of minor Minority Report. If you, look at, if you look at the actual data files and drivers within Windows 10, the HoloLens support is built into Windows 10 already. So when Windows 10 is fully implemented, that's when they're going to release HoloLens, and it's going to have full support, including having an option of being able to use a USB connected, basically like the Kinect device they have for Xbox now, that you'll be able to do all the gesture controls, everything else like that. It will view the body just like the Kinect does now. Between the Kinect and the HoloLens, yes, you will have a minority report-like system available to you fairly soon. Oh, okay. Well, you know, the computer they used in Minority Report was actually a real thing. Well, yeah, they actually had a screen on it. Uh, not that one. What's the one that with the, what's the Keanu Reeves did? The Matrix? No, before that one. Were you storing... Oh, Johnny Mnemonic. 
Johnny Mnemonic. That's it. And um, in there, he has a situation where he's got a virtual keyboard in front of him because of the device he has on his head. And so that's what it's going to be. You'll have a virtual keyboard in front of you, basically through the device that you're wearing on your head and be able to type in the air, and that would be your keyboard. They kind of have it now. They have those laser keyboards you can connect to your tablets and phones. They have them on the watch now, too. On your desktop, and you can just type on it. Hey, I'm going to have to see if I can find this, but there's actually a project they're working on that is for uh, Android, iOS, and Windows Phone. Um, it's actually it's this wristband that you can wear. It Bluetooth syncs to your phone. And, it, and you can turn around and flick your wrist, and it actually basically holographically projects the full phone screen and everything right dead out onto your freaking arm and it actually has the keyboard tracking and everything so you can sit there and type on it and every freaking thing else um you can answer your phone calls and everything it's got integrated speaker and hmm. microphone and everything all built into this freaking no. wristband no bigger than it a freaking big wristband yeah. yeah it doesn't use hologram technology it uses laser technology though to push it onto your it. arm. Um, well, they're using laser tracking to track your finger movements, but they actually said they're using... It, like they said, it's not 100% holographic, but it's about as close as you're going to get in a consumer product. Yeah, because holographic, stage, holographic um, tends wow. to mean that it's three-dimensional, and this is two-dimensional on your arm. So it's, it's more laser broadcasting. It's much like the laser keyboards they have out now that you can get, and we're able to broadcast the keyboard onto your desk. Well, no, oh, to oh my goodness. Technology, make oh, it smaller and be able to fit it right Oh, my thing. God. This band, wow. though, it does more than the keyboard, though. It actually captures your full AI of your device and projects it out onto your arm. Full AI, artificial oh, intelligence, or the device. No, the full UI, the full oh, no, interface. Your device. Device. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just an extension of the keyboard. It, it's just a different design of the same idea. Of the yeah, keyboard. British. What they're working on though is they need to miniaturize the technology. They need to make it smaller to be able to fit on your wrist. Because right now the device that gives you that virtual keyboard, it's quite large. And so they need to be able to shrink that down. And I think that's what you're talking about that they're working on. They just basically need to miniaturize it. Um, and make it functional that way. But every other technology already exists. The Bluetooth connectivity exists. The you know the lo finger location capture already exists. You know all that technology is there. It's just taking the existing technologies and being able to miniaturize them enough to make them that portable that can fit on your wrist. Hey, uh, plants. Uh, British loves you. How's he in your stream? I thought he was banned. He made. Uh, I am not from British. Which is fine. I mean, he's not trolling right now. Yeah. Yeah, but technically he's breaking Twitch rules by doing what he's doing to try to surpass the proper ban that he got for being a butthead. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Like, Twitch can't stop that. That's the, that's the big problem with Twitch. Well, at some point, we can just IP ban. There's a problem about Scott right here. He get a better idea about it. I mean, they... they, they, they... They're in the. They're in. They've already got some working prototypes, but they're still working on refining it before they start <laughs> pushing for yeah. uh, marketing and releasing it. Well, wearable tech is already out there. The Apple iPhone or the Apple Watch is out there. I mean, that kind of that stat is freaking awesome. On your wrist. It's just not not laser. What's the word I'm looking for? Not laser tracked. It's actually a touch screen interface on it. But, you know, it's, you know, the, the idea of wearable tech has been around for a while. They're talking about the, mm. you know, bendable flex screen, super thin phones that are going to be out here soon. But, you know, it'll be as thin as maybe a, you know, piece of thick paper, completely bendable. So you can slide in your pocket, really even know it's there, be able to pull it out. And, and your entire UI for your phone is right there, everything you need connected to a Bluetooth headset or even, you know, if it goes far enough, something they can actually, you know, implant in you for your cell phone so you can sit around and talk to yourself and no one will think you're crazy. 
Yeah, uh, basically that came out in technology. Uh, they they sh actually showcased it on uh, uh, Ed or, or Ed EDI, like Education for Everyone, something like that. Um, basically, the idea is that they're taking the this paper thin technology, and they did like a commercial. They showcased it. Um, basically, what it could look like. You could take out a pen click it and this little piece of paper would shoot out from the side and that's completely your computer your phone your everything right then and there with a visual interface so you could skype live and it's literally like a everyday use tool it's like the size of a pen um and then there was the uh they took the paper and showcased how flexible it was he literally bent it in half and was like look at this like it's completely broadcasting internet live video across the entire bent interface so you could have it bubbled you could have it flat you could do whatever you want with it and it's a really great piece of technology um however i don't think it will be great to be used as a computer for the time being we get a long way to go i'm waiting for the ones like uh like they had in firefly where they just rolled the thing out and they had their display and all that stuff on there. They're, you know, I'm just waiting for that, which is basically what you're talking about. I want the one from Star Trek where I can just go computer and it'll answer me and answer any questions I have and I can tell it to turn on lights and stuff like that. You mean That's Siri? Not Siri. Siri, Siri doesn't Siri. work for shit. shit. Screw Siri. Um, well, what, call it Jarvis on the new iPhones. Microsoft is already freaking talking about having home full home integration. Um, by way of freaking Cortana. That'll be cool. Well, I mean, home integration is nothing new. X10 Systems has been doing home integration systems for a long time. They just never do anything voice activated yet. Everything had to be done through the terminal. Microsoft oh, yeah, uh, voice activation. Hell, Bill Gates has already got his house set up running voice activation for his home home automation. My stepfather, his nephew, um. Uh, actually did the network and shit in Bill Gates's house when he had this system put in. The whole house is literally completely wired, completely voice activated. You could walk from one room to the next and go, lights, 25%, and it'll automatically freaking dim the lights, turn around and go thermostat, 72 degrees, and it automatically flip the thermostat, turn around and go, TV, channel 57, and automatically flip the damn TV. He's got his whole house completely wired, complete voice command. Yeah, but you got to think who who it is, who it is. It's Bill Gates. Pretty sure he designed the program for his own house. I know. I mean, and, and the messed up thing is, and it's actually been said that the technology that was used for his home automation system. It is actually, basically, his home automation system was based, was the beta test for bringing in the home automation systems to be integrated with Cortana. Sweet. And considering with Windows 10, with Windows 10 being the final version of Windows and Cortana being integrated, you could literally just... Basically, you're sitting at your desk, somebody's knocking at your door. Cortana, front door camera, and boom, here comes your surveillance on your front door. See who the hell's at the door. You know, or Cortana, order me a large pizza from Papa John's or Domino's, and it's already got all your information. Boom, just instantaneously make the freaking order. You know, uh, all that shit. And, and like I said, Windows 10. I'm on 10 right now, actually. I'm on the latest build. And that's something, too, uh, with Windows 10. For those that are in the Windows Insider program, it's already been stated. Once it re once Windows 10 officially releases on July 29th, you can stay as an insider. And there will be new builds continuously pushed. And you don't have to worry about buying another license. Whenever there's a new build pushed, you get a, 
whole new license that, inst that is instantly activated as soon as the system goes online. So that, like, like I said, every new build is a new license. And you don't have to buy shit. I'm like, I'm just sitting here thinking about that, and I'm just like, yeah. Wait, Microsoft what? is seriously stepping their shit up because they have never done anything like this with their previous OS betas before. Um, and I know a lot of that's got to do with Steve Ballmer being gone now. Because, yeah, Ballmer was literally holding Microsoft the hell back. Oh, yeah, I made him kiss on Rydia. I mean, I know he was one of the last ones of the original crew for Microsoft that was still involved with the company full-time, but he was holding shit back. Bad. Yeah, I go back up to Arc thing. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Okay. So I'm actually running on the Insider builds right now. Quick question. Is it still possible for people right now to get into Insider for free? Yeah, you just go to insider.windows.com. And just sign, sign up? up. Sign, uh, sign in with your Microsoft account and sign up. Okay. I mean, they still have a few problems with, like, driver support for a few things, but that's to be expected because most hardware companies are not going to release full-fledged, uh, full-on Windows 10 supported drivers until after the official release. But man, the summer of the beasts. Stand of choice. Uh, the ice rod seems great. I'm basically five year old hardware here, and everything works. Ah. Uh. Hell, my Bluetooth dongle that wouldn't even work on Windows 8 works on Windows 10. <laughs> Dongle. Giggity. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. No problem. Let's see. Did I do all of this? I think I did all of the maps at 100% already. I'm not sure. Um, I've got a question concerning What's Final like? Fantasy 3. Does... I used Sight to look at the map. Now, is there any way to verify if I've cleared the maps in other areas? I think in the menu somewhere there's like a... Uh... And, uh, I, think I, did all of I can't think of the word, but it's something that'll ver show all that. But it's looking like you've got them all full by what I'm looking at here. Might be on the main menu. I, I, I just can't remember exactly where it is, but I think there's something that keeps track of that stuff. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. I think I'm about to fight the boss. Oh, before you go into that cave, if you haven't gone in already, use a tent and save. Yeah, that's probably the better plan right this second. That'll restore all your MP and all that stuff. Hmm. Yeah, give Rudy the ice rod now. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Rudy is getting that ice rod right now. 
I'm being assaulted by my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Picture of freaking Frodo Baggins. It was, I don't want to say it's hot in my room, but two hobbits just came around and threw a ring in it. Huh. There's no turning back from here. The, fate, the beast awaits us down below. Leap down. Ah, oh, okay. I got a feeling I'm gonna have to go back to that cave and 100% it. Oh, did you not? I don't know if I did or not. I really don't know. That's what I was trying to check. Though, I'll make a separate save slot for that. Well, you'll be able to go back to it later in the game also. Oh, you, I'll come back here later in the game? Well, you don't have to, but you'll be able to. Yeah, yeah. That's what I figure. Because at some point you'll get an airship. Yeah, I'll get, like, teleport the airship or a uh, spell to, to go to the different cities or something. Like, actually, I think throughout this game you get, like, three different airships. Oh, zombie! 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 While this is going, I'm gonna get myself a drink. Be right back. Be right back, getting a drink. Okay. No, I've not summoned anything yet. Man, the one thing I hate about MMOs. Go here. Now go back here. Now go way over there. Now come back. Now go over here. Ugh. Yeah, because they want you to explore the world. I've explored the spaces between these areas about 17 times already. I'm done with it. That's how Firefall is. And I think that's why I stopped. Plus some of the glitches with Firefall. I like Firefall. I paid to have all the uh, content, which is nice. But then I started playing all these better games on the uh, desktop and was like, hell yeah, forgot about Firefall. Yeah, I mean, I love this game. It's beautiful and everything, but oh man, I've, I've, I've seriously been through this area so much and I just want to be done with it, but no, more quests, more quests. I mean, I'm hunting wild chocobos right now, it's just weird. 
<laughs> They're wild! Get them! Well, they gotta come from somewhere, I suppose. Yes, slimes! Okay, late in this game, there is a, a batch of slimes, pink slimes, I believe, that drop the most rare item in the entire game. Really? What is it, like Ultima? Uh, no, it's actually a tail to get adamant armor, which is the best armor in the game. Oh, sweet. Can you farm it? Well, on the, on the Super NES release of this, uh, the, the enemy was only found in one room in the entire game. Well, yeah, one room in one dungeon. And you had a 1 in 64 chance of encountering that enemy when you got into a random encounter, and then one in, a 1 in 64 chance that they would actually drop the item. So it was damn near impossible. So like a, like a 1 in 225. I think they figured the odds were actually way worse than that. But yeah, it's some ridiculous number. Whoever is hunting chuckabos, good luck with the golden chuckabo if you're doing that. Oh, no, J Dog, it's in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it's just quests. I love the slimes in Dragon Quest. Hills gaining levels. What up, Swoozy? The great Swoozy. How are you, man? We are gonna max this map out. I think I'm gonna be obsessed with trying to max out these maps. I'm <laughs> obsessed with you. Oh! GameCube Viper says hi and that she wants you in her pants or something like that. What? Where's Viper? Viper's in Skype. Do you want to join us? You want to join us? Please join us. I'll Actually, like just uh, I was gonna say uh, have her join Teamspeak. Unless she's doing Skype from her phone, and that's understandable. I think there's actually Teamspeak client for phones now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I, I believe I thought I saw it. Um, I know I this is a show Leather clothing? Like Heck yeah. Android. Yeah, we got the secret oh, achievement. Oh, free. Yeah. TeamSpeak freaking Android. Basically, smartphone users got screwed with TeamSpeak. And if you use a Windows phone, you're even more screwed. Well, if you use a Windows phone, you're just screwed, period. Well, if you like that. Once Windows phone, at, once Windows 10 rolls, considering the whole universal app deal that they're doing, and plus the new 
uh, APIs or frameworks that they have uh, for development of being able to can easily convert iOS and hmm. Android applications over to Windows my Phone. Defense one? My it's not going to be one. too much longer before you start seeing everything that's been on Android and iOS hitting Windows Phone. Um, yeah. I've actually played around with it, and I actually successfully converted uh, a uh, app that I made for a club in a uh, game called Second Life that actually pulls the radio that's being streamed in the in world, actually pulls it to your mobile device so you can listen to it and all that, as well as pull the Facebook page for it and everything else. And I actually, within five minutes and only two lines of code changed, was able to uh, convert it over to uh, Windows Phone. You know, they said that about Windows 8, though, too. And that really never happened. Actually, they never really said they were doing universal apps with Windows 8. That's uh, what I mean. Except that was the whole thing that Windows 8 was built on. They said the the phone OS and the tablet OS and Windows 8 were all going to be the same thing. Actually, no. There they was going to be a closer, if they advertised that there was going to be an integration between the OS's, yes, but not full app compatibility. Yeah, but the idea was to have full active compatibility, which was, like, ridiculous. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a registered Microsoft developer, you know, so I'm kind of in on all the insides of all this shit, you know? Yeah, and, I'm, I'm an IT not... guy, and I follow all this shit, and IT places, I mean, it doesn't matter who it is, Microsoft, Apple... Uh, Google, they all say things about their upcoming stuff that never happen. I mean, it's just one of those things that just happens. Well, with Windows 10, it's happening. I'm running both Windows 10, um, the latest Insider build on my PC, as well as the latest Insider build on my Windows phone. And it is happening. Uh, I can go in right now on my computer, uh, go into the beta store, get an app on my computer, and run it, turn around, go in on my phone, go into my apps on the beta store on the phone, pull the same exact exact app and get the same experience on my phone as I get on the desktop. I'll believe it when I actually see it available to the public. It is available to the public. Windows Insider. Insider.windows.com. It's been available since August of last year. Yeah, and basically, uh, you can get access to it and start using it right this second. Um, some people are wary only because of how Windows 8 and 8.1 went down. And, uh, some people are like, screw it, I'll test it out. If things go down, then that's just more, uh, info for Windows. Oh, I, I personally have zero trouble with Windows 8. I mean, I'm running Windows 8 on my gaming PC and it runs absolutely beautifully. So, I mean, I, I'm not anti-Microsoft, I just doubt claims until I see them, you know? Yeah. And like I said, not just Microsoft, that's any company that makes promises. I can honestly say I've been running the Windows 10 Insider builds since they first released them last year. Yeah, things started out rocky. But as we've gotten closer and closer to actual RTM release that's at the end of July, things have gotten a lot smoother. Um, same with, with Windows 10 for phones. Um, they just started releasing builds for it like three months ago. And as they've progressively started pushing out new builds, things have gotten a lot better. Um, and hell, I'm not even on one of the newer Windows phones. I'm running a Nokia Lumia 635. And my phone actually runs better with Windows Phone 10 than it did running Windows Phone 8.1 Update 2. Uh, you are uh, pretty confident I will never, ever, ever buy a Windows Phone.
Uh, I switched mainly for the whole thing with Windows 10 and having the full-on app integration. Uh, you know, and I mean, I knew it was going to be a few months after I bought my Windows phone that I'd be able to run Windows 10 on it. And honestly, outside of a few little glitches that you have to work around, uh, it's pretty damn stable. I've only had one major bug, and I actually got direct communication from Microsoft about it and the steps to take to resolve it. They which keep punching in bunches. Took all of five minutes of my time to fix it. Uh, well, my Android runs pretty stable, so I'm probably just going to stick with that. I mean, I've still, I've, I've still got Android. I mean, I'm a registered Android developer as well. I've, I've got Android devices. Hell, my wife's actually running with my old Android phone that I had before I went to the Windows phone, which was a... Uh, HTC Evo 3D, a lot of people look down on the 3D, oh, Sweet. you know, it's got 3D, you know, it's a useless function. Ready yourself. Yeah, the 3D is a useless function. Got it. But as far Ooh. as the processor is. that it's is in that phone, Mama. that processor still will run damn near anything you throw at it, man. Uh, hell, I've even had custom ROM built with KitKat running on the phone. Uh, and a lot of people are like, yeah, you can't run KitKat. Well, unlock the bootloader, root it, install a custom recovery mod on it, and you're good to go. You can flash anything on it as long as it's designed for it. It's been rolled for that phone. Yeah, that's actually the, the biggest problem overall I find with Android. Is that they put out a new version of it and you have to wait for freaking ever sometimes for it to come out for your phone if it comes out for your phone. Sometimes they're buggy as crap on the phones. And that's the one thing I gotta give Apple is when they design it, they have to design the new OS to work with like three devices and that's it. Oh, I know. It's, I mean, it's like with the, with the Evo 3D. You know, when, uh, Jill, when, Jill? Ice cream sandwich. When ice cream sandwich first came out, you know, um, HTC said, "Oh yeah, you know, the Evo 3D is gonna get ice cream sandwich." But yet, most of the major carriers waited almost six months to push the update to ice cream sandwich. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? How do I unhost you? No offense, I love you. And, uh, slash, you slash unhost, and that's it. It'll uh, unhost uh, whoever you're hosting. I mean, I love you, and I'd like to see you make it. I mean, what? Uh huh. What? Um, forward slash unhost. All is one word. I did it. In yes, nice. No offense. Zuzi's learning, guys. Zuzi is learning. <laughs> Darkness on Cecil? Got it. But, um, yeah, then they said when Kit Kat came out, you know, originally they said that the Evo 3D was gonna get Kit Kat, and then they remaked on that, and then said, oh, well, you know, we're still we're still thinking about doing it, but it's gonna be carrier in it's gonna be carrier dependent. And then they just scrapped all plans of releasing KitKat for it. And well the Cyanogen mod team and a couple oh, of other, recallers. Uh, teams the same like, magic uh, got it. Uh, DR I think DRH did one. Uh, they got a hold of the uh, source code for KitKat started rolling ROMs for the HTC Evo 3D to support KitKat. I mean, yeah, you don't get 3D, we go with the 3D support, but to me, the damn 3D was just a gimmick anyway. <laughs> there was 
hardly any apps or games that were put out that actually took advantage. There's only one I can think of that really took advantage of it, and that was freaking, uh, uh, Shit. Well, okay. Was, uh, Dead, I think it was uh, Dead Space. Was really the only one. To be yeah, I know. Tell was gonna uh, leave. That's what I kind of figured. Yeah, the only thing I've ever really liked 3D usage on is the freaking 3DS, and, and and on the new 3DS models where it actually uh, tracks your head, so it knows Sweet. what angle you're looking at it at. Yes. I mean, then it's pretty nice, but I mean, overall, it's kind of me. We've done it. Damsian is just beyond this waterfall. I say the thing with Windows 10. Windows, I was saying this earlier. Windows 10 is going to be the final version of Windows. They're basically going to a, as I like to call it, an OS 10 model. Basically, like how Apple's done with OS 10. You know, where it's still OS 10, but they're just constantly releasing new versions. You know. So it's basically. Like I thought of it more as like the way Linux does it. I mean, well, you've got you know one company's version of Linux, Red Hat. I mean, it's always going to be Red Hat, but they just keep updating that. Yeah, but then you still have ver you still have um, the major version number and sub version numbers that are changing. I mean, you look at like a well, 14, yeah. you know, you got 14.4, then you got 15.5, 16.06. You know, with Windows 10, the kernel version is always going to stay at version 10. And it's just going to go numbers, up though. and increment in the build number, in the uh, sub-version. Um, and one thing I'm liking they're doing with the Windows Insider program is those that are in the Insider program, when Windows 10 finally gets, uh, gets the final release on July 29th, those of us in the Insider program we will not have to reinstall our machines. We will get an automatic upgrade to the released manufacturer version and given the option to still continue getting insider builds, which is basically the, the insiders are gonna get the new functionalities, you know, new features and shit that get added that are gonna get added in before regular users. And we don't have to pay for a license. Should I? Every time a new build rolls, it ships with another license and automatically activates that license. I should go exploring here, huh? Yeah, I'd heard that also. So, like, like I asked before, um, you're going to have to pay for those upgrades, correct? No. You'll just get access to it for free if you sign up for the Insider program, and then you won't be paying for any of it? No, you don't have to pay for none of it. Isn't that the same as uh, them offering it to Windows 7 and 8 slash 8.1 users for free, too? See, here's the thing. With the whole upgrade offer, you're getting just straight up the release of the, the RTM final version. Uh, with the Insider program, Insiders will get access to the newer features, um, the improvements, and everything earlier oh, than Anna. normal users. Okay. So basically, upgrade, uh, sign up to the Insider program now, and have the absolute uh, highest uh, update as a as they release, whereas the uh, the regular like jumping into it as they release it for seven and uh when for Windows seven and eight users, it's as they choose to release it, correct? Right. Okay, so basically we I wouldn't have to wait if I sign up for the insider. Got it. Right. And see with the insider program. Basically a No, please beta program on steroids. You get the final release code, OS, and then as they release, or as they come up with new features, new improvements for the OS, they get pushed to Windows Insiders first through Windows Update. 
and Please, you'll have all you the new features and everything before, say, you know, your next door neighbor or whoever that actually opted in for the upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like they say, you know, they're not going to guarantee that, you know, you're not going to have problems. You know, beta software, you know, there's always going to be bugs, you know, but Microsoft has actually kind of surprised me with Windows 10 with the Insider program so far. Whenever there's been any major bugs, usually within 24 hours, oh no, please, they've I implore pushed you. an update and a patch to Windows Update in order to fix it. Yeah, and it has the system like Windows 8 where you can use compatibility mode and it uses the previous systems information to play games on the best optimal uh, settings. I did see that. That I like the idea of still being able to go back and use the compatibility settings. Oh yeah, not to mention, I mean, they're, yeah. breaking, they're breaking the oh. gap between oh, no. console and PC gaming one of those things. Cutscene. Father. Okay, I have one question anyway, about Windows 10. Is, does it have a real start menu? Yes, it does. He Thank God. The only time it goes full attention. screen uh, Metro Working is if you're using father. like a Microsoft Surface or a laptop that supports basically Edward. turning into um, in a tablet father. mode. And then okay. it goes into what's known I as continuum mode, my which blessing. You can either do the normal start menu, or you can have it do the full screen the Metro start menu. siege to us, led by a man named Golbez. Golbez? Yes. A figure clad in armor of deepest night, his strength beyond that of mortal man. And the Red Wing's purpose? Our crystal. And then they rained fire upon us. I lost my mother and father. Then Anna tried to shield me from their arrows. You love this man that much? Father, please, forgive me. I was so selfish. Edward, I love you. No! Anna! 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 This Golbez, tell me more of him. I've heard he came to Baron only recently. It seems he's using the Red Wings to steal crystals. Tears do not bring back the dead, boy. Anna's death must be avenged. I'll find this Golbez. Tella, not alone. She was not your daughter. Her killer will die by my hand. Nope. <gasps> Anna. <gasps> Coward. You're a man, aren't you? A grown man. Stop crying. I have. Rydia, you're right. I'm nothing but a coward, just as you say. That's why I'm just going to stay at Anna's side. It doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. Uh, you're not the only one who's grieving. Anna would not wish to see you fawning like a fool. Please. I have desperate need of your help right now. But you tell him, Rydia. Help you. My name is Cecil. A friend of mine has taken ill with desert fever in Kaipo and needs a sand pearl if she is to live. And for that, I've need of your aid. You need my aid? I do. Bitch Rosa's slap. life depends on it. I beg you. This woman you speak of, she means a great deal to you, doesn't she? As Anna did. As Anna did to me. In a cave far to the east dwells a monstrous creature known as an antlion. The pearls you seek form from the fluid the beast secretes as it lays its eggs in the sand. There is no overland route to its den. We must cross the northern shoals to get there. A hovercraft is docked here. With it we can reach the creature's cave. It can bear us across the surf to Kaipo as well. Come. Yeah. We must hurry. Edward, Prince of Damsian. Farewell, my love. Sweet.
guess hun? Oh, you said sweet. That's sweetie. Dang it. <laughs> Sony tried, they honestly did. They actually had where you could get remote access to your PS3 if you use a uh, Sony Bio computer system. Yeah, <laughs> they still have some of that with the PS4, actually. I mean, with like the Xperia tablets and phones, you can remote play to your PS4 with them. Yeah, but see, here what Microsoft's doing, though, that's the thing. They're bridging the gap even further with Windows 10. Um, you're actually going to be able to, with certain games right now, and then going later on down the road with even more of being able to play as a PC player with Xbox players. What up, Fire Sign? They've done that before, and they always turned it off because the console players were whining that the PC players had unfair advantages with the keyboard and mouse and blah 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 and then I'm just, I see this going the same way again. Microsoft yeah. Said this is the way they're going and they're not going to change anything. Uh, mainly because the Xbox One is basically going to become a glorified PC. They are going to be pushing a major update to the Xbox One that updates the whole damn oh, system run it. Windows 10. I see that going not well for Microsoft, honestly. Well, from insiders and a lot of analysts within the industry, within the game industry. Dude, Virus Six Zero, thank you for the host, my friend. Thank you so much for the support. Heck yeah! How are you, man? Set this in motion. And Windows 10. Come on. With complete cross-platform play. Uh, they're already, they've already got it somewhat working. The next Insider build is supposed to have it working where you can actually take and sit right dead at your computer and stream your Xbox One games straight from your Xbox to uh -huh. your PC and play them straight out on your computer. And a lot of Xbox users are, are starting to get pissed about this because of one thing. In order to play games online, you have to have an Xbox Live uh, membership. For Windows 10 users, you don't have to have Xbox Live. Yeah, last time they did, they tried this stuff, uh, you had to have Live there you to go. play online with your freaking PC games, and that did not fly. Of course, the Xbox Live on PC, the client has always been god awful. I'm okay, sure. so you said you said that that uh, Xbox Live on the PC is actually uh, linked up with the Xbox Live server, like for the system. Yeah, I can go in on the Xbox app right now on Windows 10, and I can go full chat the whole damn shop. I can go game capture, game streaming, the whole thing through Xbox right there on my PC right now. Yeah, I can do that as well on my laptop. And it's one of those things I was like, okay, whatever. But I'm actually going to take my uh, Xbox Live account back. And it's full, and they're, they're, it's full Xbox uh, Live account integration. Um... I mean, I, hell, I don't even own an Xbox right now, and I'm, 
I straight up, I've got my shit set up. I've got friends on my on my friend list that are all on Xbox that I could sit there and uh, watch them playing their games, uh, chat with them the whole shot. And like I said, with the next build, they're bringing in even more. They're going to be bringing in the voice chat system, party voice chat, um, and all of that. They're straight integrating Xbox Live um, as the... And here's the thing. It will actually work with every game on your system that runs DirectX 9 and higher. Basically, get an Xbox One or get a uh, PC. Pretty much. And there's even rumor once they get it patched and get everything working, there hasn't been anything 100% confirmed, but Phil Spencer himself from Xbox actually stated that at this point in time, with Halo Master Chief Collection being as broken as it is, they actually admitted Halo Master Chief Edition is broken. Uh, they're focusing on getting it fixed before they make any decisions of bringing any of the Halo games to Windows 10. And a lot of inside, industry insiders are saying that they get it patched up on Xbox, they get it working the way they want it, that 9 chances out of 10 the Master Chief Collection will be coming to PC exclusively for Windows 10. Oh, nice. This just reminds me so much of when they brought Halo 2 and Gears of War out on Windows Vista exclusively, and but you needed Xbox Live and all that crap. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just repeating Windows itself. Live. It was games for Windows Live, totally separate system. It wasn't even hooked in with Xbox. Except you used the exact same login, you had the same, I mean, the achievements showed up on your Xbox account, and you had to have Xbox Live to play online. No, you didn't. I, I, I've played multiple Windows games for Windows Live games without having Xbox Live. Originally, you had to have Xbox Live. They took that feature out after a few months, but originally you did have to have Xbox Live. All right, we are slowly doing this. Well, here's a kicker for you, something to think about. Um, the original game yeah. designer for um, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, actually let this leak. He actually let, or actually let this out, and they actually provided the documents to prove it. The original Xbox was originally going to be free, and then the only thing you would have to pay for was extra accessories and the games. When they originally approached him to bring Oddworld to Xbox, the original intention was that the Xbox was going to be put out for free, the original Xbox, and that Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, uh, Abe's Odyssey was going to be released uh, bundled on the Xbox. That would have been a hell of a thing. Dude, that would have been awesome because I would have had myself an Xbox as a kid, considering yeah, everything that happened Xbox. with Xboxes. Yeah, everyone would have done it. But the messed up thing is, a lot of people still don't realize this, with the Xboxes, from the Xbox all the way to the Xbox One, they've all been basically modified PCs. The original Xbox ran an Intel Celeron, uh, 700 megahertz. Yeah, like a 700 or 733 megahertz on the later revisions. Uh, run an original DDR RAM. You know, and I mean, you look at the new Xbox, you know, it's basically running a cut rate custom uh, AMD chip with uh, a custom Radeon graphics on the damn thing. Oh yeah, it's like actually I remember there was a thing that you could do with the original Xbox. You could crack the thing open, you could upgrade the processor in it, and you could upgrade the hard drive in it if you you know put a chip in it and ran a custom OS. But 
that would be that's pretty cool. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the J that was like the uh, JTAG chip, but you also had to do soldering, which if you messed up the soldering, it voided out your entire Xbox. Yeah, after a while though, you didn't even have to do that either. That's a messed up thing. You could actually go and if you had the software, you knew where to get the software and shit online, you could actually take the hard drive out and time the hard drive just a standard IDE. Yeah. You can hook the hard drive to your computer, unlock the drive, copy all your shit off of it, take a larger drive, drop it in, put all your shit back on, and you could actually repartition the drive. This was the kicker. You could repartition the drive, have the Xbox OS and all your game shit on one partition, and have and install Windows 2000 on the other partition, and actually boot and run Windows 2000 on the original Xbox. And then a lot of people were like, "Well, how are you supposed to get keyboard and mouse?" Well. That's the thing with the original Xbox. A lot of people didn't realize the plug on it was basically modified USB. The yeah, wiring awesome. schematic was the same as USB. So you could take and cut the cord off of the screwed up Xbox controller and freaking splice it in onto a USB keyboard and a USB mouse and freaking run the damn thing as a regular desktop. Or just buy the Xbox keyboard and go from there because of the MMO games. You should have been able to use the controller, in fact, you should have been able to use the controller uh, attachable uh, chat accessory. Yeah, they did bring that in where you could use the controller as a mouse, but they, they didn't bring that in until later on until they were able to figure out how to patch the uh, default Microsoft uh, HID compliant mouse drivers to be able to do it. The other one I loved that I saw was where uh, somebody uh, made a Windows 95, I think, install that would install on a Sony PSP. That was kind of funny. Yeah, I saw that. And I actually dug into that one and actually got debunked. Because <laughs> come to find out, the guy actually was uh, using a custom rolled version of uh, QMU to actually load up Windows 95 on it. It wasn't actually running native on the hardware. No, huh, even so, that's still kind of impressive to make it work that way on a piece of hardware like that. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's like. A lot of people, you know, they talk about, oh, you know, Windows... Choco Fantasy, how are you? And all this, but a lot of people seem to forget, you know, things like, you know, yeah, Windows CD, for example. Prime example, Sega Dreamcast. 90% of it's released on Sega Dreamcast ran on the Windows CD environment. Uh, no, fact, this is not the... of the North American, uh... Dreamcasts that were sold, they were sold straight up with the Windows CE logo right on the front of them. Um, basically, this is the Steam version of the game. Um, all of these games, all the Final Fantasy games that I'll be playing on this channel as the community voted series to play through will be the Final Fantasy series that actually, is available on Steam, guess, except with the exceptions of Final Fantasy XI uh, and Final Fantasy XIV, which I am not paying to play. Put, there's a custom-made raid controller he had built that you can actually hook into the Dreamcast and have up to five hard drives hooked into it running uh, in RAID 0 and literally run your games straight from the hard drive. Uh, and then there was also versions of uh, oh, I see, thanks, bro. No problem, Chaco Fantasy. No uh, problem, bro. That ran natively on the Dreamcast with full uh, desktop UI and everything. Nice. I, I actually miss uh, the PS3 running Linux. BC Warrior. Oh, no. 
That sucked when they pulled support for that. What is BC Warrior? I mean, I didn't really care overall because I really had no use for it, but I just thought it was kind of dumb that they took it away. Yeah, I actually had one of the. Actually, when I had my PlayStation 2, I was actually lucky enough when I bought it. The guy I got it from, he goes, well, throw in an extra 20 bucks. He goes, I'll uh, throw in my uh, Linux kit. And I was like, I didn't even know they had a Linux kit for the PlayStation 2. He goes, yeah, it comes with a. Yes. Uh, 20 gig hard drive, you know, the network, broadband network adapter, you know, and that was, that was the thing with the PS2, with the PS, PlayStation 2 Fats, was the whole thing of having, you know, the, the hard drive. What is BC Warrior? The network was all in one freaking component, you know. I don't know what... Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I got. Is that like blue collar warrior? Free for my PS2. I mean, not the Linux part, but the hard drive <laughs> and the network adapter I got for free because I was a, a beta tester for Final Fantasy XI on the PS2, and everybody who got into the beta for that got a free hard drive and network adapter for it. It was pretty sweet. Ah, uh, let's see. <sighs> oh, ice rod. We got another one. What? What? Se oh, 75%. Eh? Not anymore. We are completing this map right here. Right now. Or not. Or not. Okay, I'll go back. This game really does make you go through battles. Oh yeah, that, that was like the biggest flaw that everybody cites for the DS version of this game, you know, and thus the Steam version. That the freaking uh, random encounter rate is so bloody high in this, it's ridiculous. In the Steam version? Well, it was in the DS version also, so, you know, and thus carried on at the DS version because it's the same version. But, yeah, yeah. The Super NES version was not nearly as bad for random encounters. Jeez. Of course, on the other hand, too, the Super NES version did not have auto battle. No. And that's where I'm like, I'm cool with it because it's on auto battle. Yeah, I like how you can actually customize your auto battle in this. I mean, that's oh what, yeah. I remember, I remember once, uh, like when you right around when you started playing the Final Fantasy three, that I when I'd asked you if it had auto battle on that, because you know four did, and how I said that you could basically set up four to be customized enough that you could destroy absolutely everything in the entire game without really having to do much. Yeah. Just because of that customization thing and how they give you the extra abilities like the auto potion and stuff like that. The, the ones you get through as you play through the game are just so ridiculous. They, it makes the game so easy. It's kind of silly. Yeah, and I have, still have the auto potion ability. I'm not sure who to put it on. I'm really not sure. Well, I wouldn't use it until you have enough money that you can buy as many freaking potions as you could ever possibly need. Because you, because it basically is what it does is every time that character gets hit, they use a potion on themselves. Yeah. Put it on me, I die too much. Well, oh, stop it, it's silly. <laughs> you shouldn't die a lot. It's not good for your health. It's, it's a lot of fun, though. Huh? See, I hear it's painful, and you know, I don't really like pain, okay. so I'm kind of adverse no, to the whole idea. No, after the first few times, it becomes painless. Why, is he awake? Yeah, just get used to it? Yeah. It's kind of like a numbing feeling, it's pretty nice. Oh, fair enough. Uh, what, what is your preferred method? Uh, I like to jump off of cliffs. That's my preferred method. So, most of the time it's an accident, but sometimes you just get that perfect 
height where it's just like, oh, just happened to die. <laughs> it's kind of funny you actually say that. It, uh, I was playing one of the times I went back to Final Fantasy XIV when I hadn't been playing for a while, and I forgot how I had my uh, button set up, and I totally just used one of the Dragoon abilities and backflipped off the cliff and died in the middle of combat. It was, it was pretty funny. I, uh, when I started playing Ark, you know how um, most games have the, uh, where you jump, you go farther and stuff like that? Well, I did that so many times that it got to the point where if it was just a little bit of a ledge, oh, right. I would just keep going down the ledge and I would just keep falling. Hurried up and like, threw up a baby like, gate. Tumble and stuff like that, baby gate. In that game, um, die. Jump, 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 jump. And splat. So um, we also have I commands for deep bot, but there's really no like main like, oh my god, I have to know how to do this type of deal. The fuck was that? Okay. Kyle, come here, buddy. It's your truck's down here. Come here, buddy. Daddy, yeah. Kyle, come here, buddy. <laughs> I just heard that. I'm coming, Dad. Hey, buddy. What? I'm hardly not at the same time. My cat's your truck is right the there. Went running towards Over there, the you got your cars. For some They're right there. Got your big green one up there. Yeah. You gonna play with your trucks? Out. Cat. Here we go. Oh, there's these too. The emergency exit and. More ether. Holy crap, my cat just jumped like eight feet in the air. It was awesome. Sweet. I'm not sure what he was jumping at, but he he just launched straight up. It was great. Probably chasing a fly. Probably. But that was funny. I just look over and my cat just oh, my what? Cat, or you know, higher than head oh. height. What the Alright, hold on, my son put a car. In his one-piece pajamas, like a little toy car. Now I gotta feed it out. <laughs> Give me a second. Ugh, kids today. All right, I'm going to go pee real quick. It is pee time. Someone's not happy. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Mute the stream if you need to. I'm gonna have to tell uh, 
YouTube like, hey, mute at some point when you hear the baby. Mike, um, uh, Mike MC Cobra, what's up, man? Just took a little pee break. Oh, my son got a diaper change and he is just angry. Man, is he angry. My son got so mad. Soul Sucker 98, how are you, bro? What's up? Yeah. Wow, he is mad. It's like 2.40 a.m. for me, though, too. You know, we usually change his diaper when we're getting close to going to bed. Wife's getting ready to go to bed because we put him down at 8. And, uh... Really? I can't really tell. Do you have Edward in the back row? Huh? Do you have Edward in the back row? He's... yeah. Okay, yeah, because he's squishy and dies really, really, really fast otherwise. Yeah. Cecil's in the front. The other two are in the back. Right on, yeah, that's, always, that's the way I always did it, too. Oh, it auto-did it. Oh, okay, on the Super Nintendo, or, you know, on the Super Nintendo and PSP. Oh, one. no, it didn't. Oh, God, he's in the front row now. Why did it switch? Ah. Oh, we were back attacked. That's why. Crap. Oh, yeah. No, no. I do more damage in the front row, though. Yeah, but the, the thing that he's best for is his bard songs and stuff, so... Yeah. Like, uh, you might want to set his auto battle to, uh, like, the HP regen song or something. He's more useful that way, in my opinion. Thank you for that, Zant. Oh yeah, it's it's so helpful. Is it? At least that way you'll always, you know, regen some uh, HP. It's so great. It saves on potions. Yeah, considering I was going through them like a madman. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. So, hey. Uh, okay, Genki, you are streaming. Yes. It's okay, take a deep breath. You can do this. I believe in you. I believe in a thing called love. <laughs> oh my you God. You're high enough. Woo 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 woo. Oh God, that is dumb. Get time. I wish. Boy can dream, right? Huh, anyway, um, if you, uh, are actually controlling the battle, Edward also has an ability which will, uh, like, use a potion or something, but it'll use it over the entire party instead of just one person, but only in combat. Okay. Just one more hour. This is where the antlion lays her eggs. Oh. Eek. There's nothing to fear. Antlions are quite docile. They won't harm humans. Here, let me take one of her pearls. Ah! Rhea, with me. Get everyone set up. You didn't get me set up. 
I'm not set up either, so it's okay. He's locked on us. Crap. Okay, I'm sorry, that was actually a little funny, because like, right as you just said crap on my stream, it was like right after you just said sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. That's sweet crap. So whatever happened with the whole Viper situation that was brought up earlier? There's a Viper situation? Oh, Viper from uh, uh, the Skype call. What happened? Oh, I was saying, did like you tell her that I was on to come over to Twitch or anything? Did I? Yeah. Yeah. Asleep. Oh, she's asleep. Oh, okay. I, I was just curious. Yeah, about the crush that animal. Twitch and yeah, and then two levels of that. Yeah, gaining two levels of that. I was just yeah. curious. Yeah, she just fell asleep. That'll happen. So yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I was. It makes no sense. Her, so Why would Nantline try to harm me? Her head, duh. Monster populations are swelling. Beasts once harmless now turn See, off. For her, it's fine, but for Game Key, then it might be a little scary. Something is put. I'm really not sure how to respond to any of that, because there's so awesome. many different things that just went through my head, and many of them sounded like, that right. would be a great Let's idea go. to say that, but then I thought better of it. Wow. I, I'm 21. I'm a big kid. I can take it. No, it's just better that it stays in my own demented brain. Whoa, it, it, wait, trust me, what's it really up, is. man? Oh. Okay. My brain is pretty demented, Bill. That and most of them have already left my head. You, you see, I'm, I'm I'm a little old and I forget things quickly. What was that, son? I don't know. I forgot. What are you guys doing in my bathroom? Oh, well, that's <laughs> a whole different thing. <laughs> Who are you people? You see, the, the, there was a wager about toothpaste and then a toilet paper roll, and uh, I think there were some beans involved somehow. I'm really not sure how it got to this. I don't know, but I thought I heard somebody say something about Taco Bell, too. Taco Bell? Oh. Well, I think that goes in line with the beans <laughs> and the what? toothpaste. And the toilet. What? True. What? They don't call it Taco what? Hell for nothing. See, oh. around here, more people call it Toxic Bell. I call it breakfast. <sighs> yeah, what up, Chloe? Actually, How are you, man? Dude, I love those freaking waffle Rosa. tacos with the scrambled eggs and the cheese and the bacon. I love you. Oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. Here I am on the score-wise of, like, wow. everybody, that plays, huh. everybody that plays this game, I'm in first place. Oh, nice. Because mm -hmm. my scores are really high. Well, nice, babe. Yeah, Light of the sand pearl shown on Rosa's face. Xamp. Xamp! Yeah, I got Zamp. Zamp. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love you. Cecil, you're safe. Oh, thank goodness. What were you thinking, Rosa? I just realized I was probably pushing a different button. They told me you died in the earthquake at the But, but I, I knew I it couldn't know. be true. I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Forgive me. I didn't mean to make you worry. Neither do I. But, Rosa. What's this talk of a man named Golbat? I find life more interesting that way. The king called upon to lead the Red Wings in your steed. His majesty has been acting even more peculiarly since Golbat came to Baron. Hey, He's not that himself. used to be the case? Especially I can't driving. be sure, but I have a feeling that uh, one time me and my friends were going to Texas or to uh, Florida, and we ended up in Texas. The water took from the city oh. and the fire crystal from dancing. We try to know what we're doing a little bit. Fables, wind crystal, and the okay, how does that work? Just don't The fire crystal is already taken. Because I don't remember. This is Edward, Damsian's prince. It's thanks to him we were able to save you. I remember doing stupid this is shit like that when I was younger. Taking off, off with a uh, 36 this year. So. 
back to Earth. He'll be so swift there. to move against Fable. Fucking we need to take an off with a bunch of friends. Supposed to be going down to the damn. We need uh, to rest. Down to Neptune we'll go to Fable in one. Florida. Ending up all the way down in but the how? Keys and there's for only some one damn road reason, that hopping on a boat to head it to the Cuba. It lies through my and it weighs blocked by a wall well, of impenetrable that's, ice. That's, that's the thing. Ended up spending three days down there in Cuba. Oh, Koi, I'm doing freaking place. fantastic, man. Just Did smashing some Final Fantasy IV. Oh, I had a couple of Cohibas while I was Rydia, down there. you can cast fire, can you? No, I can't. Fresh roll. None of, your the, none of the box crap was fresh, fresh rolled straight It's the from most the elementary of all. Okay, that I've never had, but I have had Cubans before. Rosa, you're in no condition to be going with us. And if you can't get in, I'll be considering fine. Cohibas are technically I'll be built in the United right. States, since the United States still sees Cuba as a threat, which is kind That's of ridiculous. Rosa wants to be with you. Um, the closest I've been yeah, able to find does. is the state that she the hands the on is, uh, Garcia Vegas. From that dark armor. Uh, the all ones right. that I had were real. We'll all go together. It will be dark soon. We I mean, should leave early in the morning. Them, Make sure you get you enough rest. Look, but, yeah. I will. Thank you, Sasson. What they cost here in the States is like... White Mage Rosa, join the party. Or, well, Sweet! It's like pennies when it comes to buying them down there in Cuba itself. I mean, that hell, night. It's like medication prices down there. For the same kind of medication mm -hmm. up here that it costs you two, three hundred dollars only yeah. costs you like ten, I'm fifteen so bucks down there. Yeah, that'd be nice. I actually seen a documentary here a few months ago. It was short it was like uh, five, six years after nine eleven. And they got a bunch of survivors bit. together that were involved with the rescue. And everything else, and they have the respiratory problems. Oh, Dang. Um, Quoi, it's back in repair again. It's the same problem. Again. The same exact one, man. Wow, those bard songs are super strong. Be brave, yeah, my he's love. actually useful with these. He didn't have those songs in the Super NES version. Oh, dude, he's having like a vision while he's in this fight. Damn, that sucks. And it's also Windows 8.1. No, I actually changed operating systems to Windows 7. Uh, ultimate. That I was saying there was this documentary and watching this guy's. Um, yeah, what can you do? Group of, uh, people that worked on the recovery. I actually changed operating system. The respiratory problem and shit from the asbestos dust and all that shit. And here in the U.S., You're they were paying you out three, four, five thousand dollars a month just for the freaking medications. But you must believe in Jumped yourself. Jumped on a boat down in Miami. Took him, I, up, took him to I uh, try. Cuba. Went right straight into the state hospital there in Cuba. All they asked was your name. Yeah, I bought Windows 7. Residence. They didn't ask for no identification or nothing. The doctors checked them out. Turned around, gave them all the medications they needed. And freaking inhalers and shit that were like three, Someone four, sponsored? No. Like what do you mean sponsored? Nice. Oh, talking about the medicine someone sponsored? No, nobody sponsored it. That's straight up what the medical prices are down there in Cuba. Because their medical system down there is not freaking so damn corrupted by the major pharmaceutical companies like it is here in the U.S. Yeah. If you go anywhere else in the world, it's actually cheaper than America. Plastic surgery in other countries is like half of what it is in America. Too. Anna. Edward. 
Besides Britain. I can be with you but for this Britain. moment. The spirit calls me onward to become a part of it again. Don't leave me, Anna! Yeah, it's like, it's like people like people here you in the States, they try to say, oh yeah, no, we have to not be allowed to have the crystal education system and all this. Really? We gave your love no, we don't, we don't. I can go to France. I can go to France right now. With I'm cutscene. Dang. Anna, my I think love. Sweden actually has the best I, education system. I will try. We have the best colleges, though. But I, what would I, you have me do? That's also debatable. Alright. Best beam of the week. Alright, so... That means like, uh, with France, for You're example, all... I go over to France right now, and I can go to freaking any one of the universities in France, wouldn't cost me a damn thing. It's all completely funded by the government over there. They can straight up tell you, you know, that it is, it is your right yeah, it is to get an education, whether you can afford it or not. Yeah, that's, that's why so many American American uh, students and shit are going to Europe now for freaking university and shit. They're going over there for study programs and all that shit because they don't have to pay for it. They don't think they have to pay for is their living expenses and shit. And they don't have to worry about freaking massive ass student loans. Now it's like I got a friend of mine right now went to school for uh media and broadcasting. He's sitting with over three hundred thousand dollars in student loans. And there's no way in hell he can pay that shit off before he dies. That's like me, I'm gonna end up uh sitting in uh, at least fifty thousand dollars of debt, uh just going for a four year degree. But currently right now I've already been in college for two years and that was just for my general education. Any degree I seek now and a bachelor's degree will take me anywhere from four to five years currently um, because of uh, me also working on top of uh, at least 12 to 13 credit hours when the university wants you to take 15 plus credit hours each semester to graduate within four years and that's literally hey I'm gonna go just to college for you know 17 hours a week but on top of that, you need to, if your class is four hours, you need to study for eight hours. You need to double your study hours based on the time that you're in class. So not only are you going to class for 17 hours in a week, but you're also studying for an additional 34. That's the time of a full-time job. Some students, like myself, study triple the hours in class just to try to maintain that A to B grade point average so your scholarship isn't taken away um, so basically you have no life as a college student so on 12 credit hours I study for uh, I go to class for anywhere from 12 to 15 hours and I study for about 45 hours a week and I'm like amazed if I graduate uh, on the Dean's list which is a big deal um, because if I don't keep my GPA up uh, right now and when I also go to graduate school, I lose my government benefits when I go to graduate school until I bring up my GPA. And that's scary. So that leaves a university student such as myself with a military background uh, always stressed the hell out during college. Ten of those, thirteen of those. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it, it, it's ridiculous. Our education system is just so messed up. You know, I mean, you look at other countries. You know, it's like, uh, well, I just said in chat. You know, freaking Germany even is free university. You know, 
I wish I had free university. I wish I did. Well, though, don't a lot of the countries that have free university programs and stuff like that have ooh, mandatory military service? Um, uh, I know France has free, um, university, Germany too, and I know both of them, they don't do the Later, Soulstalker98, you have a good night, oh, bro. Okay. I was just curious. Actually, looking at moving to. Uh... We'll catch you later, Quo. Oh, later, Quo. Wait, you have a good night, man. It was nice well, hanging out and chatting with you. Scotland. Just one, because I've never been there, and two. Hmm. Point, Where are we going? At that point oh, in time, so I just wanted to get the hell out of the country. I was going to the hell out yeah. of the I was gonna do it. And I ended up deciding against it, finance-wise, getting over there. But I could have got over there and went over there on a uh, uh, international student. I could have got an international student visa and not had to pay shit to go to school. And that would have been. And the messed up thing is, there's not very many around here. Or here, there's hardly any universities in the states that do this. But I could have actually went and got a PhD in paranormal studies from the freaking uh, University of Glasgow. And Scotland is absolutely beautiful, by the way. You're beautiful. So now where am I going? Crap. What'd you say? I said I know, thank you. Oh, I thought you said you hate me. I'm like, no! No, I'm good. I love you. Uh, Genki, uh, give me one sec. After I'm done with this fight, I can tell you where to go. No problem. I just healed Rosa. I just don't. I'm going to, I think, full, full bar. Okay, um, uh, you, where, the, the cave where you ran the antlion thing, uh, there are some of the little shallows up there you can take to go further east. So you need to go uh, way up back there again. Okay, going there now. Yeah, up around Dam Side and whatnot. So like here in the United States, like with one of the disorders that I have, I actually when I was. 21 years old, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia, and here in the States, most doctors, they still think it's all in your freaking head. You go over to Europe, they have specialized freaking doctors that Thank you, Chloe. for this, um, without even blinking an eye. It's, it's that mountain game key. Yeah, I'm on it now. Okay, I was just watching the, the, the feed and uh, you started to go away from it, so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, fibromyalgia is a real bitch. I know somebody who's got it, and I have uh, chronic uh, pain in my knee. It's messed it up kind of. Fire Sun 18, what's you know? up? How are you, man? So I get a. Uh, I'm on the medication actually that they use for fibromyalgia to yeah, treat headaches that. and uh, really? my knee yeah. pain. <clears throat> Radiant, will you please try cast fire? I have nerve damage in my knees. Actually, my entire leg. I'm off to bed. Good night, everyone. All right, fire son, you have a good night, man. Thanks for having that you. That doesn't sound fun. Or thanks for coming in and uh, showing up. It was nice having you. You're used to it, honestly. Uh, it, that's also Radiant. a bad thing, though, because I've been in pain all my you life. You can do it. I so know you I can. I don't really feel anymore. Oh, I, I know how that goes. I, I don't like, want until to. Until I was put on this medication just earlier this you year. You don't want to. Uh, I, had, I hate fire. I could not think of a time that I had not been Your in pain since to the I was like 15. And I'm 36. Please, Rydia, listen to me. 
You're the only one among us with the power to melt ice. We can't make, we can't make to, uh, you do it. Uh, but unless we make it through so here to Fable, a lot of other people allowed, will be hurt. I, don't wanna I know it's not easy, anymore, but so please, kind of you must it. be brave. Yeah, yeah, it is you know, where my voice gets completely please, like, emotionless, and I, you are the only one. You know, I'm kind of falling into depression, but I try to not do that. Oddly enough, the the drug that they put me on for the knee pain and the headaches and stuff is an antidepressant. Oh no! Fire! <laughs> but it's a it's a lower dose. Oh, we're not it, down it, it, It's a uh, amyltriptyline. So th they put me on a, a lower dose than what uh, they used for depression, but it actually has done me a hell of a lot of good. Really, I learned fire I'm not in pain Sweet. anymore, and I don't get headaches as much. It's really nice. Radio, uh, you did I it! That was incredible! Right <laughs> uh, there you go. Thank you, Rydia! But, uh... Rydia. I, I've literally thought about pain so much that I can ignore it now. And it's pretty disgusting. <laughs> but that being said, I also, emotion, or I, I also ignore emotions and stuff like that. And that's something that I can't really help. Like, I can understand what people feel, but I don't feel it. Fair enough. Tell you what, it's a lot, it's a hell of a damn drug. Oh man. First time I took it, after morphine, it knocked me out. Like, after being on morphine for such a long time. This is no, nice I'm having sure. four people in my party. Can I actually rock five people parties? Yes, King Key, you do get five person parties. Hell yeah! I'll be part of your party, buddy. You can go surfing and everything. Well, I mean, I see the other slot there, and that's why I was like, I was figuring that was gonna happen. But it being confirmed now, I'm a little more excited because I'm so used to only having four people for absolutely every game, <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna I'm be, right. I'm gonna be spoiled with auto battle in this when I move on to seven. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasies 4, 5, and 6, I believe, all were uh, five-person parties. So are you saying you, you don't want to go stripping with me? I'm so you Now, do you mean, by that, do you mean go to strip clubs or go out and do the stripping? I don't know. What do I mean? Wink, wink. Oh, Schrodinger stripping. You never know. Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? Why not Zoidberg? You know, apparently <laughs> I just heard something the other day that apparently he never said that in the show. What? He should say it. Right now. He never said what in the show? Why not Zoidberg? Didn't he say that though? Apparently not. I'm all over this map exploring now. I'm all over you. Oh! Just chopping these monsters up. Chopping it, chop. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want to try and put her to sleep? Guess what? You are getting laid out. He loves me. As soon as he's cool, it's mutual. Yes! It's mutual. Did you hear that? People on the stream, it. it's mutual. <laughs> Confirmed. So now Confirmed. it's not just a creepy obsession anymore. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm telling your wife, it's mutual. <laughs> Game made. Um. Once again, the day was made thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, now it just got creepy. <laughs> Welcome to my 
That sucks. She doesn't, uh, Rosa doesn't really have any good auto command. It's just like attacker. Right. <sighs> eventually. Eventually. I should probably take off the ice rod and use it as an item and have both those two use it as an item. No, actually, I would use Prey because it restores HP. When it works. Oh, yeah, Prey. Restores HP and MP. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's MP in the, in the DS version as well. Yep, she gets both. Why? She's Rosa. I mean, Prey doesn't work every time you use it, but it's still really useful. Oh, it's to everyone. Okay. I'll just put... I'll, yeah. I'll just make it Prey for the auto command. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, because it, like it doesn't work all the time, but when it does, oh, man, it's nice. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm your number one fan. It's official now. Oh, yeah? Yes. I don't know. There are a few people that would debate no. that. No. Do they know where you live? Hmm? 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 Do you know where I live? I think so. I think Bushy told me once. <laughs> not, I can find out. No, no, no. You probably would be the number one stalker, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> same difference, right? Yeah. No, no, there's a difference. There's fan and stalker. Stalker tries to show up everywhere. Fan is stalker, just supportive. I hardly know her. Yet. I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Yeah, you know, talking about the whole stalker fan thing reminds me of that damn freaking suspense thriller movie that came out back in the 90s, Swim Fan. Oh yeah, I was thinking of that same thing actually. There we go, I have it set up finally. This is gonna be nice. Oh god, this sounds like something Lee would say to some chick that pissed her off. I don't hate you, I just wish your gynecologist was Freddy Krueger. That's kind of bad. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, your son just went to bed or whatever on the, the thingamajiggy. Yeah, I know. He came in here and told me he was going to bed. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, Fire Son. That's uh, uh, F.U. Grim Reaper's son. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, and Leah Justice is Grim Reaper's wife, and then I'm not wife. It's a Japanese wife. Yeah, waifu. There you go. No, no, those aren't real. Same difference. If they were real, then you'd be my wife. <laughs> what do you know? I am your waifu. Hey yo. Confirm. What the twist? He he wants me to be his wife. He's he's already in his mind confirming that I'm his wife, when in reality, I am no such thing. You can it. Oh snap! I just got captured. Yeah, delusions of grandeur. Yes, delusions oh, of grandeur. That's kind of nice. That prey does work pretty often right now. Yeah, it seems to be about 50 50 or so. I'm just noticing that I could probably spam the crap out of some abilities. Yeah, it'll let you more freely use MP. Like, whenever you find undead stuff, fire works really, really well.